Is there a calibration method? There is. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, even though it's pre calibrated, I'm gonna give you a run through of the calibration procedure. So, normally for calibration, you would need two, refer two uh, data points. So, in the ideal world, you would have a reference sum of a perfect rope and say rope with the wire removed so that um, you can have, uh, you can calculate its relative percentage loss of, loss of metallic area. Um, so, first of all, we assume this is a perfect rope. Mm -hmm. So, zero LMA, calibrated. Now, for the second point, because obviously this broken wire, it's not enough to, get, to give you the, your second reference point, you have two options. First of all, you can take a wire, you can tape it on the rope surface, and that will give you, give you negative LMA. Third option is to simply Remove the rope altogether and give you the, the LMA for no rope. Now, because uh, of the way the calibration curve works, you have a small deviation. So, when we enter for zero LMA, for um, full LMA, we don't actually enter 100%. We value it based on the rope cross-section. So for this, this is an 18 millimeter rope. This curve will be the value of 105%. Mm. Plus or minus 5% yes, tolerance. Yeah, the tolerance. Mm. Yes, so yes. It's a plus or minus 5%, yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Mm. now it's calibrated. Mm -hmm. Okay, just off so it doesn't mm -hmm. lose the error point. Okay, so rope parameters, well, the diameter 18 millimeters. Yes, yes. And let's put the start coordinates at zero. And we are all set. Okay. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Right, and run it back. Okay, 1.6 meters, about right. Um, the maximum LMA, because we have, because this is a demonstration rope, mm -hmm. um, we have, we'll, uh, the influence of this will be quite large, but nonetheless, inspection results. Let's have a look. Uh, just what expected. So, here's the first run, when we did on the positive side. That is this, this will be the termination here. Point seven. Yeah, okay. this will be its influence. Yes. And this, Peak corresponds to the defect. So, so this how is can you evaluate it? Well, by percentage loss. You can. We can actually. Percentage loss. So we can, we can actually uh, calculate the height. Obviously, this is a graph. We can plot it, and put it on the, should, the software. You should use the software. Yeah, you should use software. But if you're on the, in the field, so you can you can yeah. immediately have a brief look and see. And what I said earlier, you have two independent channels. So on a local fault, which is so, this is a millivolt, mm -hmm. so this is a qualitative uh, signal, you can see where the two peaks are corresponding to this defect on the front run and on the return run. Mm -hmm. So this unit has encoder. And, uh, this one. Yeah, it's encoder, yeah. Counts yeah. The, all the meters that you go on. Yes. There is a, a function, sometimes in, like for example in offshore uh, situations, um, there is a function um, to emulate the speed. So, for example, if you have a very, very heavy greased rope, mm -hmm. and uh, it's impossible. So, you, as long as you know that the rope is traveling at a, at a certain speed, which is quite easy to measure, you can put this into the speed emulation, and it will pick, pick this up. Speed is something like... Uh, we, this one, one can go up to four meters per second. Very good, very good. Yeah. Absolutely. Although, in practice... One, in one second, one four second, meters. four meters. Four meters. 
So four meters per second, for example, oh, very, fast. very old, very fast, very, fast, very, very old fast. paperways where you don't have speed regulation. Four meters per so second. Oh. And One second more. Oh. The last question. Uh, would you mind uh, talking about the sensation?